and welcome to BTVN. I'm Gracie Coker. And I'm Megan Gannon. The, the end of the year seems so busy, so how are you holding up? I'm pretty tired and stressed, but I don't think you can find a student who isn't. I really don't think you can, especially this week alone. It's so crazy. It's AP tests start on Monday, which lasts through the 13th. May 2nd is applause and awards. May 5th is tree day, and May 6th is the senior walk. Also, cheerleading tryouts will be held on the 3rd, 4th, and 5th. That's a lot. Are you excited for tryouts? I am. There's so many girls who want to try out. And I just want to say, if you didn't, weren't able to make it to the meeting on Monday, you can still try out. Just get in contact with me, ASAP, and sign up on the sign-up sheet. Rather you have no experience or you have a lot, I just want to encourage girls to come and try out. It should be a lot of fun. Anyway, how's soccer? It's going well. We have a tournament in Camden this weekend. Are you excited for that? We are. And yeah. then we are two weeks out till districts. Which Another thing to add to the list. Yeah, so many things. <laughs> With that said, keep your grades up and for seniors, fight through senioritis as much as you can. You only have 16 more days left. That's right. The 13th is the seniors' last day and finals start on the following Monday, the 16th. Here's the schedule for that. Monday, history will be in the morning and science in the afternoon. Tuesday, English will be in the morning and math in the afternoon. And Wednesday, world languages will be in the morning and makeups will be in the afternoon, along with Thursday. Thankfully, I only have to take three regular exams. You know, I wish I could stay the same, but summer is just on the horizon. Yeah, I think we are all looking forward to the 19th when exams are over and summer finally begins. I know, but even when school ends, there's still plenty more going on. With junior singer ring ceremony on the 20th, baccalaureate is on the 22nd, and commencement on the 23rd. Have you found your junior ring dress yet? You know, my mom bought me a couple. I just haven't had any time to try them on. How about you? <laughs> Not even close. No. <laughs> well, with all this stress, it's good to have a laugh. So let's head over to Austin with this week's Classy Update. Hello Barstow, welcome back to Classy Update. I'm your host, Austin Zollers. This is a pretty rambunctious week, folks, so let's get started. Finals are approaching, which could lead to only one thing, stress. You could either wallow in that self-worry or you could do something about it. Introducing Austin Zollers Barstow Stress Relieving Guide. Simple ways to relieve stress around the Barstow campus. Number one on our list, take a nap. The location is up to you, really. It's truly a matter of your preference. Some suggestions, however, for comfort, try any of the green chairs in the commons. For a nap with a view, perhaps try the Zen Garden. Number two, massage. Now, what you're gonna do is locate your closest expose marker, lay on them on the floor in straight rows, and finally, go up and down in a, a simulated fashion to create the hands of a caring masseuse. Number three, auditory stimulation. This is definitely the most extreme, but could be the most effective. This is a chance to listen to something calming like the waves or the jungle. Unfortunately, this is a high school campus, so we don't have that sort of thing, but we can get pretty close. I recommend waiting by a water fountain, so when someone comes to get a drink, the water will simply calm you into a state. However, the closest thing we, ha we have to a jungle is the middle school during lunch. As you sit in the cafeteria, close your eyes and listen to the shrieks and howls of the wildlife. Well, that's all I have for this week. Now, the word language of the day is gubat. Gubat. Let's go over to Mrs. Rudkin for some first grade news. Stay classy, Barstow. Tomorrow, the first graders are going to the Kansas City Zoo. We will be visiting the African section and learning more about the animals that are natural to the environment in Africa. And the boys and girls are so excited. We're hoping that the weather cooperates. We have been studying all the different land features, both the physical and the natural, in the country and 
in the, in the countries of Africa and on its continent. Um, the boys and girls have also written a report about an African animal, so hopefully this will help them see their animal up close and personal. We are looking forward to the day, and we know we will have a great time. Thanks, Austin. Remember, this Sunday is the Spofford Variety Show. It starts at 6 in the auditorium. Tickets are $8, and all proceeds benefit the Spofford home. Wow, I think we've covered a lot today. How are you feeling? A little overwhelmed. I feel like I need to go get my planner and write all of this down. Well, if you're anything like Megan and you're stressed and overwhelmed, just know you are not alone. While it may be a busy time of the year, there are still many fun things going on as well. The Senior Art Show is in its beginning stages. And graduation is coming up. And best of all, summer is almost here. Hang in there, Barstow. I'm Megan. And I'm Gracie. We'll see you back here on Friday.